everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add bonsai trees to Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting these bonsai trees added. Personally, I love bonsai trees. Bonsai trees are really cool in real life. I've always wanted one, but I've never gotten one, which is sad. So, you know, but, but, but nevertheless, I can get one in Minecraft now. And I, I think that's the really important thing, that I can, I can get a bonsai tree in Minecraft now. And that... It makes me feel good. So, nevertheless, we're going to be getting bonsai trees today. But first, we do have this more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. So, you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually have Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So, go ahead, check out Apex, first link down below, and install bonsai trees on it. Using a forward server, you can get bonsai trees over there and have these little trees all over your world with your friends playing. It's absolutely awesome. So anyway, check out Apex first link down below the breakdown dot XYZ slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's get bonsai trees, right? That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that. You can find this link right here at the second link in the description down below. When you click on that, it's going to take you to this page. Now, this is the official download page for bonsai trees, but it has some pretty helpful information. So one of which is we scroll down the page here, we'll be able to see how to get started. So we can see we need to craft a bonsai pot and then and then place it, you know, with at least one block of air over it. We need to find some soil, dirt works, for example. Then we need to get a compatible sapling, right click the tree and watch it grow. It's that simple, that easy. And the sapling will start growing. They also do recommend, for example, down here that you do have something like just enough items. We're not gonna need that today, but it is recommended just if you're using mods in general. But nevertheless, once you're on this page, what you wanna do is come over to the right-hand side. Again, this page is the second link down below. Scroll down to the right-hand side, find the Minecraft 1.15 section. And then under that, you have bonsai trees, right? Right like so. And then click on that purple download button to the right of, uh, of that section or under that file under 1.15. When you click on that, it will take you off to a page where after six seconds, the download will begin. So if we wait here, boom, there we go. The download will now begin in the bottom left of the screen. Now you will need to keep this file. It is 100% safe to keep it in the bottom left of the screen. As long as it says bonsai trees in the title, it does so we can click keep. Now in Mozilla Firefox, it will pop up in the center of your screen and it's safe to save it there as long as it says bonsai trees in the title. Now there's one thing we need to download that is a little tricky. See, like a uh, it's not mentioned on the download page of this mod at all that it has a library mod, basically a compatibility mod, a mod that it has to have in order for it to work, right? It's not mentioned anywhere. And so it can be a little confusing when you install this mod and it's like, doesn't have this compatibility mod. It's like, what? Well, here it is. Luckily, you're going to have it because we have it linked as the third link in the description down below. When you go down there, it's gonna take you here. As you can see, this is called the libanonymous, basically library anonymous, and that's because this uh, this developer's name is Dave Anonymous, same guy who does bonsai trees, and it makes this mod, which is compatible for mon bonsai trees too. So awesome stuff. What you wanna do is go to this link in the description, third link down below. It's gonna take you here, where you wanna scroll down on the right-hand side, click on, my, under the Minecraft 1.15 section here. See, find that. And then under that, you have libonymous 1.15.2 and click on the purple download button to the right of that. Same thing, it's gonna take us off here where the download will begin after six seconds automatically in the bottom left. We will need to keep this file. It's 100% safe to keep it as long as it have, has a libonymous, that's hard to say, in the title. Then click keep there. Almost that Firefox is gonna pop in the server screen. Safe to save it as long as it says libonymous in the title. Now, we're not done downloading just yet, so need to download one more thing. And that one more thing is Forge. Forge is required for the Bonsai Tree 2 mod because it is basically the mod loader that loads both the library mod and Bonsai Trees 2. So you can find Forge at, you guessed it, in the description down below, fourth link down below. We'll take you here. This is our official Forge tutorial. It goes through everything. We have the text tutorial here, video tutorial up top, and I'm also gonna be showing you how to get this in this video, but I'm not gonna be going as in-depth. Like this is a over 10 minute video on installing just Forge. And you can see this title is, you know, just over 10 minutes. So I'm not gonna be going over everything in this video here. But nevertheless, once you're here, you wanna scroll down and click on this green download forge button here when you click on that it will take us off to forge's official website where we want to make sure the 1.15.2 version of forge is selected we can do that by seeing the mc 1.15.2 here if it doesn't say mc 1.15.2 there no worries click on the left hand sidebar this plus button and then click on 1.15.2 then it'll appear right here mc 1.15.2 once you see that you can come under download latest here and click on the installer button right there 
That'll then take us off to add focus, where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop. Don't click anything on this page. Anything you see on this page is lying to you. 100% of the things you're seeing in the center of this page is lying to you. All you need to do is click on the red skip button in the top right. Click nothing else on this page except the red skip button in the top right. If it says your download is ready in the center of your screen, it's not. You need to click the red skip button in the top right. Does everybody, everybody understand me? Click the red skip button in the top right and that's it. When you click on the red skip button in the top right, in the bottom left down here, it will ask you if you want to keep the file. It is 100% safe to keep this file as long as it says forge in the title. Ours says forge in the title, we can click keep. If yours doesn't, no worries. It's not a big deal. Just don't keep the file and click that red skip button in the top right. Because when you click that, it's going to download forge and it's going to work. Almost the Firefox, same thing. Say it at the center of your screen and it's 100% safe to save the file as long as it has forge in the title. Now, if we minimize our browser here on the desktop, we have Bonsai Trees too which I had downloaded from testing this mod before. Sorry about that. And then we also have Forge, right? And then we do have Libnonymous right there. So we have all of those on our desktop, Bonsai Trees, Libnonymous, and Forge all on the desktop. Now we're gonna be starting off here with the Forge mod, right? And it's not a mod, it's a mod loader, but what we wanna do is right click on that, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Or what if all of these files just look weird? They don't look like this, they look either like zip files or RAR files or whatever. They don't look like Java files, which that's what these are, Java files. So. What do we do? Well, no worries. If you go to the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on downloading and installing Java for Minecraft. It goes over everything you need to do to get Java for Minecraft mods. It's helped over a million people get the correct version of Java set up and running for Minecraft mods, getting everything loaded and all that stuff. It's awesome. 10 out of 10. Recommend that. Go check it out. Now, if you install Java, it's probably going to fix your issue. But it might not. And if it doesn't, you're going to need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files in your computer and make them work with Java once again. Right? It's going to take all those .jar files, make them work with Java, link them together, turn them to back into like files that look like jar files, and make everything look good. It's a very simple three-step process, basically just downloading and running a simple program. And that's going to make all the jar files work in your computer with Java once again. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser. And we want to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. Now it's going to go ahead and open up the Mod System Installer for Forge, where here all you want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. It's going to go run through some things, do some stuff, and set up Forge for Minecraft 1.15.2. So it's going to take it a second, and then boom, as you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Awesome. That's what we want to see, and we can click OK. Now it is time. We can delete Forge, whatever we want to do with it. Now it is time to go ahead and install the Bonsai Tree 2 and Libnonymous Mods in 1.15.2. To do this, you want to actually open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And then in the bottom left down here, you should have this little like drop down. Now, if you have Forge in here, click on Forge and click Play. But if you don't have Forge, no worries. Click on the Installations tab at the top of Minecraft. Click on the plus new button here. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is the IP address of our Minecraft server, a network Minecraft server with two awesome survival servers. We have Medieval Survival with over 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. Then we have Aquatic Survival with a slash shop-based economy, a balanced slash shop-based economy. Pretty proud of that one. Crates and an awesome community. Then we do have custom Skyblock as well with OP enchants, custom islands, 1.8 PvP, and so much more. And then last but not least, we have factions coming very, very soon. So be sure to check that out. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. Now under the version like area here, we want to click on this drop down, and then in here we will have release 1.15.2-forge. You might have to scroll down to find it, but it's there. Release 1.15.2-forge. Right there it is for me. Click on that, and then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do that. And then click create in the bottom right. Once you click create there, at the very bottom, you will have this new profile that you created. In my case, it's called play.breakdowncraft.com, and then just click on the green play button that appears next to it when you hover over your newly created installation. Now, at this point, it's going to open up Minecraft. It's going to get everything up and running. It's going to be good to go. It's going to be great. And we can finally install Bonsai Trees too. Yes, kind of a lot there to get to this point, but no longer do you have to open up the run application or anything like that. All you need to do is open up Forge in Minecraft. And then once you are on the main menu, right, once you get to the Minecraft main menu here, all you need to do to install this mod is click on the Mods button here, and then click on the Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Then that's going to open up our Mods folder here, where you want to take Bonsai Tree and Libnotomous, right, both of these mods, Bonsai Tree and Libnotomous, and drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. That's what you want to do. Drag them from your desktop to your Mods folder here, and then you're done. But they're not here. 
Oh no, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. What we wanna do is click on done here, quit the game, open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. Make sure we do have that Forge profile selected, right? Or have the profile that we created selected, either one, but it should say 1.15.2-forge under it, and then click on the green play button. Now Minecraft is going to open up, and actually, in this preloader here, we can see Limnonymous and Bonsai Trees, both installed and loaded. That's what I like to see there. Awesome stuff. That means this mod, these mods are installed. They are working. Minecraft Opti or Forge recognizes them. We are good to go. Awesome stuff there. So go ahead and open this up, and bada bing, bada boom. If we click on the Mods tab, we will see Bonsai Trees 2 and Libnonymous, and most importantly, right, most importantly, if we go ahead and jump into Minecraft single player here, we will have this mod installed and can actually do some stuff with it. So here we are loading into our world, and uh, at first you won't notice anything, right? Bonsai Trees don't spawn naturally. You need to craft the stuff to get them. However, we can grab some stuff, I believe, in creative here. So let's see if we can grab anything. We have the bonsai pot here. So we have the hopping up bonsai pot, and then we have the bonsai pot, right, like so. So we can place these down, boom, and boom. And then I believe we can put some dirt into these real quick, right? If we left click them with dirt, there we go. And then we need a compatible sapling. So I believe just the vanilla saplings will work here. Yep, there we go. As you can see, we've got the sapling there and it grows right on like so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, I've am gonna, I've gotta add more of these. This is, this is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and get these rocking and rolling here. So boom, boom, boom. Let's get this going. This, this is so cool to me, how that grow process was. Boom, birch tree. So we've got the oak one here. That's the oak one. That's pretty cool. We've got the birch one growing right on up. I see a potential thumbnail moment in our future right here. <laughs> we've got this one growing right on up. And then we can get the birch sapling going. Boom. And then we can get the jungle sapling going. We can get the acacia sapling going. And then we can get the dark oak sapling going. Right like so. Look at that. Now that is pretty cool. <laughs> Look how tall and like, skinny that jungle tree is. I think I like the acacia the most, just to be honest. I, I think that is my my all-time favorite. Now I believe you can harvest these if we go into survival. We can right-click them. Is that correct? Right? Is that, is that what it is? I believe there was a way to, to be able to harvest these, but I, I don't know off the top of my head. That is available on the mods page there. But uh, let's see if we break this, what happens? Boom. So it actually does, it yields out a stick, right? Nothing too crazy. But it does actually yield out the sapling and the stick. So pretty cool stuff there. Um, I believe this is going to be the jungle tree that needs to reload or regrow there. But yeah, there you have it. That's how you can have bonsai trees. These are pretty cool to like add on a table or something like that in your house. So many different options with them. And just a cool little feature. I mean, could you imagine decorating like the exterior of the house with these little trees? Look at that. They're so cool. So yeah, overall, this is one of my favorite favorite things I've seen in Minecraft for a while. It's not complicated. It's not crazy. It's not some s super fancy mod. It's just simple and it's fun. And that's what I like about it. I, I like the fact that it is a simple and a fun mod. Okay, so that's what I thought. That means these are constantly growing now because we have these hoppers under them and it's going to constantly be emptying these, right? Like so. All right, so let's go ahead and just, we'll just set all these up with hoppers. That way they are auto harvested and we don't have to really worry about it, right? Now these, I don't think, like this one over here isn't gonna do that, right? Cause it's not a hopper one, yeah. But there we have it, there you have it. That is now how you can get these set up. We can cover those hoppers up, right? Like so, and they just, they're just gonna keep growing, right? They're just going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And as you can see, there's the hopper continuing to get those. So pretty cool stuff. It's a way to kind of automate wood, actually. Automate wood growth using bonsai trees. So not only are they uh, like cool little like things for tables, but they're also functional using the hopper ones there and getting those set up. So pretty cool stuff. A way to automate wood in Minecraft and then be able to automatically get wood without having to think about it. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We post incredible Minecraft content here. Thank you again so, so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next video. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.